I actually never thought this day would come, ladies and gentlemen. I'm currently sat in my manual Audi R8 V10, and I'm on my way to John Cleese Audio again because they have smashed my audio system, and it is now time to upgrade the screen and finally cave in and get Apple CarPlay. I came to the realization that every single mile that I've driven this car, every single day that I've driven this car, the only piece of information this screen is useful for is the reverse camera. I've never got a single piece of driving information from it in the time that I've owned this car, and it's coming up to a year. And now that I've upgraded the sound system, John Cleese have done a fantastic job with the install. They've soundproofed it, meaning, look, there's gonna be a car coming past me. You won't even be able to hear it go past. It's so quiet in here, and I've got USB-C chargers. Everything is much more usable in today's modern world. But why wouldn't I upgrade the screen? The only reason why I haven't so far is I wanted to keep it in keeping with the OEM look of the car. But actually, if there is a fundamental functional benefit from it, then I'm gonna do it. We're back. The R8 is back. I'd like to call this my second home. The amount of times the R8's here. Perfectly fine. But Simon is now working on the head unit, making sure that, is it keys that go in and? Yeah, certain keys that locate to actually remove the unit, yeah. 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 And then we will, I suppose, get our first look at the new unit, a Sony that's going in, which is quite fitting actually, because I've got my video camera that's Sony. Hello, mate. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the version of filming. Right on cue. How you doing, <laughs> How you doing mate? I'm, I'm busy good. in the shop, sorry. Yeah. yeah, I was just saying actually, my camera's Sony, my Handycam Sony, my GoPro's a GoPro. But I got a head unit at Sony. Yeah, but you've listed, yeah, you've got a lot of Sony stuff in your <laughs> so it would be fitting to have such a nice head unit at Sony right here. Brand new model. This is the most important bit right there. Oh yeah, Apple CarPlay. <laughs> or if you're on the dark side, Android Auto. True. <laughs> but it's Wi-Fi, so wireless connection. But yeah, literally, Sony came, came out with this, God, I want to say four, six weeks ago, maybe a bit longer. Oh maybe wow, track brand new then. Yeah, yeah literally, they've, um, they've only just entered the wireless CarPlay market. So they were wired before, which oh, which is all right plugging it in, but you don't want to do that, do you? Yeah. So a wireless. So yeah, finally, and uh, yeah, this is the one perfectly matched to go with your audio system. That's it. That is it. I just, it's always needed, isn't it? A factory head unit is always a, you know, a little bit of the weakest link when it comes to audio. The yeah. problem, what do you mean with the audio? So obviously you've got this great audio system, which you've already done, but you've still got a weak link at the front, which is your source unit. So as much as you want to keep it all original, blah, 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 you're still, that is producing the signal that goes to your system. So you've got your, like, your music on your phone, which is digital, and you can get like high res versions and stuff, but it's going through that. So actually everything in your system revolves around that source unit, which in, in essence is actually pretty rubbish. So it's your weakest link of audio. So you can do the best you can with it, but actually, if you just took that out and put a new system in, even though it looks different, this will actually make your audio system already got sound a hell of a lot better. So my audio system was still running through a 14 year old so yeah. source. Yeah. Exactly so this that. is gonna make my audio sound better as well. Yes. Oh, so actually, oh, it's the gift, upgrade. the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> it is currently lunchtime here at John Cleese Audio. And I'm sat here with all of this work behind me waiting for Connor and Simon to get back. But I've just noticed a bit of masking tape down by the driver's seat. Now that wasn't there. And I actually remember hearing Simon and Connor talking about marking up my driver's seat position. And I thought, I don't know what they're doing, but it seems very thoughtful. Anyway, I've let that go. Two, three hours later, I've noticed the masking tape and Simon has actually masked up where the driver's seat was before he had to move everything so that he could gain access to this. And I just think that's a really nice, thoughtful touch, a really nice gesture that he didn't have to do. But these guys are so intricate and thoughtful when it comes to the project and making sure the car is exactly as it should be when it goes back to the customer. And I'm not just talking about me specifically, I've seen it with customers that they've been dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. And it is one of the reasons why I love bringing my car here because they are so careful, thoughtful, and making sure that everything is how it was when they got their hands on it. So a little thing like the masking tape down there, it's just a really nice touch. I just thought I should share with you, but yeah, they hadn't mentioned anything to me. They'd just done it and they were gonna revert the seat back so that when I got in the car to drive home in a couple of days time, 
it would be as I left it. And it is the Sony unit is such a quality looking unit. It looks it looks class. I find the Sony one. Yeah, it, it suits this car perfectly. So yeah, you take these keys, the specific keys obviously for the Audi. So and you've got two little slots here and here, which that locks into. Look at that. And that goes into that. And the whole lot just comes out. As you can see. Nice. Massive! Massive. <laughs> Where's yours bit? Okay, no, oh, no. Hey, can I just say for the viewers at home, he's allowed me to put all this stuff on his car. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We don't normally do this. This isn't common. Uh, he literally said, chuck it on there. So that's the only reason I've done this. Throw it on the video. engine bed. Exactly. Oh, wait, you go. Do you want to pull that off? Something. No, 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 no. You do it. You do sure. it. I'm actually really excited about yeah. this now. It's actually quite a classy looking unit. So it is. Unlike a lot of units out there, you've seen like the ones that got like really glossy finishes, all piano black. And yeah, 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 yeah. They've gone for more of a matte finish on this. So even the screen's got like a, a anti-reflective matte finish on yeah. it. Yeah. So it's not so like bling in your face and modern, because obviously. Well, also probably better for fingerprints as well. Correct. And for reflection, glare with sunlight yeah. and stuff, which obviously in this car you're going to get a little bit. Look at bit the of weight it. saving that we're going to have as well with the. Oh yeah, you're looking like that actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's, oh my God. Saving weight. Yeah. Fast speed. <laughs> we'll come down and get a bit of an update on the R8 because we're on day number two. We wouldn't normally do multiple days fitting a double in an R8. Okay, they normally did it out in a day. Obviously now we've got to rewire the whole system completely again, which basically means running phono leads, interconnects the signal cables that run from the head unit to the amplifier. So now we've got to basically do our job again. Head unit is not currently in the dashboard as of yet. The reverse camera we've obviously hooked up. Down there, in fact, I'll zoom into the amplifier and you can see we've put new RCAs in. If you've looked at the other video, you'd have noticed there was blue RCAs in, which were more of a basic range. We've upgraded these to a higher end Stinger RCA because we want to try and get the signal transfer from that Sony the best it can be. What are you doing? Tucking cables. Tucking cables. <laughs> B-E-A, beautiful. The sun is shining, it is a beautiful day and there is quite a variety of cars here at John Cleese Audio but I'm here to collect my Audi R8 having had the text from Connor to say it is ready and I do believe that both Simon and Connor are inside here. The R8 is on charge, it actually didn't start the last time I to drive it over here, it didn't start first time. Morning! Hello! How are you doing? All right. <laughs> I'm all good. How's the old project been going then? Where are we at? The screen in? Yeah. The screen looks part of the car now. It's um, yeah. it really blended lovely. I wouldn't yeah. expect anything less from you, Simon. <laughs> yeah, we're in a ride, to be fair. Yeah, it yeah, looks yeah, smart. Wasn't, wasn't too bad. Hoi -ya. Literally, it's kind of, yeah, it sits real flush. Yeah. Obviously, we had to, like I said earlier, we had to run the cables to the um, direct to the amplifier because before you had the obviously the old Bluetooth streamer in. So, obviously, Simon's run some high quality phono leads through the car to the amp. So now the Sony directly drives the amp. So, oh, yeah, we've had that conversation. I'm looking yeah. forward to hearing how it sounds. Yeah. And actually, these fingerprints are me <laughs> because I've had to touch the screen four times, five times, <laughs> to get my phone to I connect. Know, so he would have cleaned it, because I know what he's like. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah that, that would have been clean. I know, I've seen him put masking tape down on my seat position so that my driving seat's yeah. back to where I know how uh, thorough Simon is. That's so your grubby fingers, mate. It is, couldn't, yeah. Couldn't on. wait, could you? No, 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 I came in and I was like, come on, I want to see it. And actually, I don't know why, but because I have an iPhone, I just assume Apple, iPhone, their screen, feedback is superior but hold on let me get to be fair Apple, i mean iphones yeah you're talking about a thousand pound mobile device nowadays and they are like the best out there but it still runs the same what we call capacitive technology as your phone anyway so yeah it should be just 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 swiping it's it's really really fast it's really really good um so i'm just gonna load it up i've got a little r8 screen on i know i, so, I saw that <laughs> i saw that hold on like let that. me go back to yeah it just sits in the background Oh, straight away, steering wheel trolls work. Yeah. <laughs> this is that. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad they work first off. <laughs> there we go. Lovely little R8 logo. Yeah. A bat, look at that. I mean, finally got radio. Because before yes. it was Radio 1. Yeah, very basic radio stations, FM. But now you've got DAB, 
obviously we couldn't utilize the original Audi aerial yeah. so we've uh, gone and installed a, a glass mounted dab barrel in the most subtlest position we could think of in the car like this so rather than being the usual uh, peripheral vision here we've actually mounted it up above your rear view mirror pool so oh is, it, is that that nah, no it's, it's here it's yeah. there, so it shouldn't oh, be too yeah. obvious when you're driving i mean obviously I I've, I've shown you now so you're gonna be drawn <laughs> to it but before you didn't even notice it's yeah, what i said no i mean i don't even think my camera's properly picking it up but yeah it takes there a lot of focus up there yeah well again i apologize that we didn't do this all at once <laughs> <laughs> because you had to take the sub out get access to everything but no it's, no, it's good because you'll get because you've heard it now as it was yeah now it's like a step up and you're you should you'll hear the improvement yeah it's made sort of thing yeah. with the time correction i've done in there so it sounds like the 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 whatever your planes all across the dashboard yeah and you'll have the vocalist in the center where that gps area is yeah mega so, yeah. mega <laughs> honestly he, magicians for a little head you change he's gone a bit over the top with sound setting up you've got the proper real time, <laughs> like <it. I> <laughs> time analyzer out <laughs> just to actually put your seat in position to get the measurements for you as a driver yeah, like, you do, you do yeah. it like, yeah like Connor says real time analyzer so the microphone's put into your seat position with the microphone at your head position and everything's measured to that point so that because the speakers are in different locations in the car, yeah, you want them all arriving at your ears at the same time, yeah. So it, you get that effect of the full sound stage on the dash. So, so it's going to be like I'm at a concert every single time. Yes, absolutely. Yes, <laughs> <idea>. absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> also, you got functionality. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. simple. Yeah. Just having CarPlay, decent phone calls. Yeah. Being able to send your voice notes. Yeah. And just literally, yeah, being able to skip a track from steering wheel. Simple little things like that. It yeah. just makes yeah. all the difference. Now it is time to, I think we just need to just slot that, that back, back on. on. And then I am going to be driving off with this. And actually, as I said in the first video of 2024, there are a few things that are happening to my cars. This was one of them. I am now driving this to go further into a project aesthetically, but in return, swapping that for my Alfa Romeo Stelvio, which has had a complete overhaul visually. So that video is coming very soon. You might have already seen it on Instagram, but I'm heading over to Dub Customs to drop this car off to collect my Alfa Romeo, and then hopefully you will get to see a video coming very, very soon of the full wrap reveal of that. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Massive thank you to John Cleese Audio again for absolutely knocking it out of the park, and I cannot wait to enjoy Apple CarPlay. I can't believe I didn't do this as soon as I bought the car, because that road trip down to Monaco would have been so much easier. But this year, this car is gonna have a lot of adventures. And now with Apple CarPlay, everything is gonna be so much easier. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care, goodbye.